Welcome back to Ant's Boxing Channel. I want to talk to you guys about Edgar Berlanga and David Benavidez and also Canelo Alvarez, a love triangle. So what we have going on is David Benavidez made his comments on the Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Berlanga fight. And he called it a trash fight. He said nobody wants to sue. Nobody wants to see it. But at the end of the day, it's just Canelo Alvarez not wanting to fight the best opposition that there is, right? Um, he said nothing wrong. He said nothing wrong. Um, is it a trash fight? You know that's exaggeration. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not a trash fight. It'll be an entertaining fight. It'll be a pretty good fight. Edgar Belenga is a live dog in that fight. A lot of people. Ain't giving him credit for it, but he is a live dog in the fight. Now, Edgar Belenga responds to David Benavidez very disrespectfully and calls him out of his name and calls him dirt just like his father, pretty much calling him and his dad dirt and says, God don't bless people who be hating on another man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like that was a very dramatic response from Edgar Belenga, and I feel that it's just funny energy to me because a couple things I've seen with Edgar Belanga is he's been very polite with Canelo, very nice to Canelo, you know, very respectful. He's gotten very disrespectful with Caleb Plant in his face, calling him the P word, telling him that he would beat him up, right? And I remember after his last fight in the post-fight press conference, Edgar Belanga's energy at the post-fight press conference when he was asked about a potential fight with David Benavidez, he was a little ducky, a little dodging. It's like he wasn't really entertaining it. It was kind of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but it wasn't on some I want the smoke energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, when they was asking him, if you can't get the Canelo fight, would you be interested in a Munguia fight and a Benavidez fight? And he kind of just really, like, it wasn't even a non-focused on Canelo. It was really uh, an avoiding kind of energy. Um... But now that it's on social media, he's getting really aggressive um, and talking trash to David Benavidez. I, I find it funny. It's funny energy to me. I don't think it's really, I don't feel like he's being consistent on his bully, the way he says he is. He said, I'm going to be on my bully from now on. I, I don't see that as consistent. It looks a little kind of weird to me how you're very polite, butt kissing with Canelo. You want to get on your bully with Caleb Plant. When you're asked about Benavidez, you don't seem to be on your bully there. But then on social media, when it comes to Benavidez, you back on your bully. It's just not consistent for me. And um, I'm just hard-pressed to believe that Edgar Belanga would have that same energy and the audacity to say those type of things to David Benavidez in his face. I could be wrong. I'm not trying to say Edgar Belanga's a punk. I just feel like he's putting on a bit of a front. Um, and I feel like he has been kissing Canelo's butt. Um, and he, which makes me believe he probably feels when it comes to Caleb Plant, how he feels. He really feels he could beat him up and this, that, or whatever. He's not scared or intimidated of or by Caleb Plant. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. That's really all I had to say on this matter. I just found it a little bit funny and inconsistent. I will be rooting for Edgar Belenga against Canelo. I'm tired of Canelo. Get Canelo out of here. He's holding up the divisions, the division. He's keeping them belts hostage. And shame on him for not taking the fight with Benavides. That was just shameful. You know what I mean? Canelo haters, let me know how much you hate what I'm saying in the comments. I will gladly listen and then I appreciate your feedback and I will take it to make my channel better. That's it fans boxing channel. I'm out.